We are going to write a proof to prove that this triangle on the left side is congruent to this triangle on the right side. All right, we're given some information that we need to mark up. AD, segment AD is congruent to segment CB. So AD a hash mark, CB a hash mark. DC, segment DC is congruent to segment BA. So let's put in two hash marks and two hash marks. Angle ACD, trace that, that's this one, is congruent to angle CAB, that's this one, okay? And then angle CAD, that's this one, is congruent to angle ACB, that's this one. So, this was all given. I need to prove that the triangle on the left, ACD, is congruent to the triangle on the right, CAB. And, um... I'm given two of the uh, leg segments. I need that third one. Now, first of all, right here, we're going to say the reason I can state those congruent um, segments congruent is because of the given. Now, I need to state that AC, which is the only segment left, is congruent to itself. So, segment AC is congruent to segment CA. So, it's because um, that that segment is in both the left and the right triangle. So, of course, it's congruent to itself. And the reason I can say that, we studied a while back, was the reflexive property of congruence. All right? The next thing that they told us were two of the angles. The two angles that they told that we marked up were given. And now we need to state, well, hey, this D and B, which is the only angles not mentioned, they've got to be congruent to each other. So let's state those. Angle D is congruent to angle B. And the reason we can say that is we've got that third angle's uh, tri theorem, third angle's theorem going there. So the third angle's theorem. Remember, if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then third angles are also congruent. And since we've said that, we have now proved that the triangle on the left side is congruent to the triangle on the right side. And the reason we can say that was all the corresponding parts are congruent. All corresponding parts are congruent. Later, we will learn um, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, and we'll study that later.